I think I said last night or the night before, I was I was in Chennai for that last game. It was so the Rajasthan wet. game, yeah, right? It, it they was, won it because of the dew, didn't yeah, they? It was so wet. Uh, it was like it was a consistent drizzle had been falling all night, and it was really really damp underfoot. Uh, tough for the bowlers, tough for the spinners to to get any purchase, and on a slow pitch. That's what you want as a spinner. You want to be able to get some purchase. Yeah. And when the ball's a bit damp, it just skids on. There's another little thing for me though as well. You just have a whole box of balls and have them ready. Why do we go through this process time and time again all over the world of just waiting for the fourth umpire to come down and waiting for him to bring a box of ball, balls out? Just grab a ball, throw it out, let's get on with the game. Yeah, and last time actually, so that's always a surprise because MS Dhoni actually used you know, you may be saying that, oh, but MS Dhoni was defending at the time. How did he use it to his advantage? It was the ball change that helped, didn't it? Yeah, correct. It was the ball change because they would they changed the ball in the 18th over and suddenly his bowlers could use it mm. uh, sort of better. But that's because it got so wet. Yeah, and, and that's the only time you'd change it. If it's, you know, not way wet, the, uh, the umpire's not going to mm. agree to change it. And it makes a huge difference. I mean, it, it, it's a difference that, you know, how, how do you explain to somebody? Uh, it's almost like when you get into the bath. Yeah. You, you hold yeah. a, you know, your soap bar, right? Or you take it out of your packet. You can hold it. Yeah. But once it's wet, yeah. what happens? Yeah. So then you've got to do the same skill with the dry thing versus that wet thing. Yeah. So from the bowling point of view, it, you know, there are things that you can't do. The ball doesn't spin. There isn't any seam movement, even if the pitch allows it, because you know it just skids on. Yeah. You need need the ball or the seam to grip on that surface, no matter what the surface mm. is, whether it's a turning surface or a surface that grips. So if that seam is wet, it doesn't get that time to you know grip on that wicket and just skids on. Yeah. So it makes it much easier. Yeah. You keep hearing about batsmen saying, ah, you know, the ball's not coming on mm. or ball's coming on. Yeah. So there it is. The ball's not coming on is the dry soap and the ball coming on is the wet soap. I, yeah. I don't, I don't like, point. I, I hate the fact that a, a toss dictates the outcome of the game. Yeah. So I don't like the fact that dew plays such a factor. So I would prefer throughout tonight, every four overs, new ball. Yeah, not a, not a brand new ball, but another ball comes out every four overs. Dry ball. Just just take yeah. it take it out of the player's equation, and the the referee and the uh, umpires just say, here we go, fellas. Tonight we are changing the ball every four overs. Yeah, because you wanted to be. We've got uh, enough of them. Let's go. It's a competition of skill. You don't Correct. want the elements to come into play Correct. so much. I mean, anywhere yeah. you have a lot of variables in cricket, you've got the pitch, you've got the lighting, mm. you know, you've got the weather, and then when you get you know dew and a wet ball, it really changes things around. But good suggestion there. Keep throwing in a dry ball every now and then.